Now with your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Ramirez. Sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Well, this is our second week of our winning with the weather prize sweepstakes. If you have the opportunity this week to win a 14-foot pro trampoline with a basketball hoop, of course, this one's a very good one for the kids there. Uh, you can always sign up on the ContraValleyHomes.com. The winner will be announced this Friday on the KCN News at 6 on this Friday at June 5th. But looking at our current conditions, seeing some gray skies out there, uh, just dealing with some showers that are currently uh, in the process of moving through the Concho Valley, seeing those temperatures at 75 degrees definitely call some cooler conditions today across the area. Those winds are out of the southwest at 9 miles an hour. As we look at our time lapse, we definitely had a little bit of a break in some sunshine there as we head into the early morning hours. But this afternoon, definitely saw that clouds roll on in. And with those few isolated storms and showers, hit or miss showers, continuing to be the case for us here across the Concho Valley, expecting those to die down as we get closer towards those uh, the midnight hour. But we are keeping our eyes on the Gulf here. In terms of those tropics, the Tropical Depression 3 has formed near the Yucatan right now. Winds at 30 miles an hour. Lots of uncertainty on where this is going to potentially fall within the next several hours or so. But the National Hurricane Center does have this forecasted to become a tropical storm uh, as it heads towards the north there. But very uh, lots of uncertainty. Not really expecting uh, where to fall as it continues as we head into this weekend there. Uh, heading into the Saturday and Sunday. But looking at our current conditions here across the U.S., we have this low pressure system in place. That's what's spawning, spawning off a few showers and storms for us here across the area with those high pressure systems off towards the east of us there. Uh, but looking at closer to home, here's a look at that radar right now. We're seeing a lot of those storms off towards the south along the I-10 corridor, doing, getting a little bit of a break here in San Angelo, but they're dealing with a little bit more lightning and thunder off to the north of us in northern Runnels County there. Expecting uh, just to see those lingering showers to remain in the picture for the next several hours here. A few more light showers in and around the wall area there along uh, at 87 as we head into the next several hours. Looking at our future cast, expect those showers and storms to be in the picture at least until the 10.30 p.m. hour. We could see a possibility of a few isolated strong storms uh, for as we head into the uh, overnight hours, but then after the midnight hour, expecting that to uh, diminish, those rain chances to diminish with those cloud cover remaining into the picture until tomorrow morning. We'll be a little bit more sunnier tomorrow, but we will have the, the potential for a few isolated stray storms and showers to be in the picture going into tomorrow afternoon. And then a lot more quiet conditions and anticipated for the next several days here. We're going to have this high pressure system that's going to be building in from the west here that's going to be responsible for keeping us sunny and those temperatures on the uprise into the upper 90s going into the rest of this week. That high will definitely be in the picture, keeping those skies clear for the next several days or so. And then, of course, it would probably uh, weaken off towards the northeast as we head into the start of next week. Tonight, overnight temps dropping down to 66 degrees. Lingering showers and storms are possible. Again, after the midnight hour, we're expecting those rain chances to be out of the picture there. Winds out of the east, northeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tomorrow we'll be topping out at 88 degrees. A little bit more sunshine expected for tomorrow with those 20% uh, chance of showers and storms. Expect an isolated stray storm or shower for the next uh, 24 hours or so. But for the next seven days, expect mostly sunny conditions for Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to see those high temperatures keep rising up into the upper 90s. 96 for Thursday, 97 for Friday, and then 98 for Saturday, but expecting a common quiet weather pattern for the next several days. Overnight lows in the upper 60s. We could potentially hit 100 degrees going into the start of next week as we head into the end of next weekend. We'll be right back.